Hey there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you for being here. All right, so what is the honest truth about the person on your mind? So please just take what you feel is for you from this reading and feel free to reject anything that doesn't feel like it's for you. It's likely for someone else. All right, so who is this person deep down? Who are they? Overall, who are they? Okay, we have the Five of Wands coming out first. Here's the chariot. We have the page of cups. And we have the ace of wands. And then we have the moon. So right away I'm seeing this person as someone who maybe doesn't quite know what they want in life just yet. I do feel like this person um, could be someone who maybe um, creates a lot of drama or finds themselves caught up in um, you know, drama as an unwilling per participant maybe. Um, so yeah, I do feel like this person does a lot of daydreaming with the moon and the page of cups right here as well. Um, I feel like they, I feel like they try to maybe like talk a big game or something and, but inside they, they kind of are like, um, they kind of have like a meek, uh, like almost like a little, it, they feel like a little mouse inside sometimes, but they try to come across as very like big and brash. Um, I feel like they like to come across as very strong, um, very fiery, but that's not really who they are inside. So they might be kind of loud sometimes as well. But this person has a very quiet and daydreamy side about them. So I feel like they very, uh, they like to like vent their emotions a lot. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, this person does have a go-getter streak in them as well. So I feel like they have some major goals that they want to accomplish uh, very much. All right, let's see. This person is very uncertain about the way maybe they handled something in their past or if they've done like they're on the right path sometimes. Okay. And then we have this old car. So speaking of the past, we have Pisces showing up here as well. Um, so nostalgia, the good old days are kind of popping out to me here. So I feel like this person could be incredibly nostalgic and I feel like they, maybe they miss um, something about their childhood a lot. They might be thinking back to like friends or family members, maybe especially if they're no longer here, they don't get to see them very often. I'm getting like their heart really goes back to those times. Um, Let's see, we also have old habits die hard. So this person can be also fighting very hard to break some kind of habit to start a new, like chart a new life course. Yeah, with this planning and action here. So I do feel like they are trying to orient themselves in a very positive direction right now. So I do feel like the positive is outweighing um, the negative, but yeah, there is a lot of self-doubt that still creeps up in this person. Okay, um, and then we have a stepping stones. All right, this is a nice card. The process of arrival, keep on going step by step, um, baby steps. So I do feel like this person has learned how to be a little more patient with themselves as well. So let's see. And I feel it's because they have had a long, hard learning process of maybe um, dealing with a lot of anger and getting very angry at themselves and like the world. But I feel like they've learned to let a little bit of that go as time has gone on, as they've learned to be a little more patient with themselves, I do feel like they have like done some kind of personal development or something or gone through some kind of coaching or therapy and it's helped them a lot. Okay, and then we have second house resources. I did have this deck upside down, so um, it was starting to come out reverse. So maybe they do worry a lot about um, like they don't have enough or they haven't, they don't make enough money just yet. Maybe they feel like um, they're past their prime or something, like they're too late to the party in some ways, but I, I still see some optimism here and I still see some willing to work and go after something. So they haven't totally given up. So yeah, maybe sometimes they feel like older than they are too. They feel a bit rusty. Maybe they're, maybe they have some kind of talent they feel very rusty at right now. They're trying to slowly bring that back into their life. So I do see that this person does live with um, frustration, maybe on a daily basis, uh, just frustration at themselves mostly, 
or maybe their situation, their job. And we have Pisces, the mystic. So here's this dreamer card coming out again. So this person especially could have like a, a mix of Aries and Pisces in their chart. This person does have a compassionate side to them, um, very dreamy side to them for sure. And I feel like this person, they might sometimes um, like lack practicality. Um, they're, it's hard for them to be realistic about things sometimes. All right. Um, and then we have this pre-shuffled archetypes card. So the one came out, which is very interesting. Okay. So I feel like they are looking for this elusive thing in their life. So they might be, this could be like their soulmate. They're looking for the one, um, or they're looking for like that one thing that's really going to fulfill them, that one goal they can achieve, that amount of money or something. It's, I feel like they're very targeted on like this one thing. Um, I do see that this person, um, they're, they're, I feel like they're really trying to be the one for someone as well. Um, they might also, I feel like they might have kind of a dreaming of being a superhero thing going on here as well. I feel like this person wants to like fight the bad guys and, um, just like win at life. So I feel like they spend a lot of time in that kind of daydream. Um, maybe even like winning over more of your approval and impressing, impressing you as well. This person just wants to be able to impress people, especially because I do feel like this person does feel kind of like they they missed the boat on some stuff or they didn't get enough recognition or attention in their life. So I feel like they're they're really giving it a big effort to to get attention somehow for something good that they've done. All right. So what is their biggest strength? I am curious here this deck out here. What is this person's biggest strength? Person on number three's mind. I do see with the one here, this person has a lot of potential. This person could also be very into martial arts as well, or that could be something that will really help them focus their energies. Yeah, I feel like martial arts would be very good for them. Okay, um, and here's the Queen of Cups. Oh, very interesting. All right, and one more card for their biggest strength. I feel like this person could have a very good relationship with their mother or a mother figure in their life. So um, I feel like they very much appreciate like feminine energy, um, you know, very much um, like I feel like want to protect females as well. And here's rebuild. This is the tower. I feel like they are very good at, you know, even if they're somewhat like someone who's like argumentative, sometimes they get in a lot of conflicts. You know, I feel like, again, there's somehow, somehow there's somewhat of a drama magnet. Um, they will always be willing to like hear the other person's side and try to work things out and rebuild relationships. Um, so I do like what I'm seeing there that this person will always like be very forgiving. Um, like they, they just give someone like so many chances because I feel like they just really, once they've cooled down, they like really understand where someone's coming from. They can really feel other struggles. So they're able to really get themselves into other people's shoes. I think in most of the readings so far today, like the person has been like pretty intuitive. So I feel like this person has a lot of empathy. Um, they do have like um, kind of a psychic side to them that, that maybe they haven't quite tapped into um, those gifts just yet. Okay, so what is this person's biggest weakness? We have the seven of wands. Okay, this person, they might get defensive very easily. I feel, again, I feel like this person does like fight easily, but then they're very, very quick to forgive and very quick to, you know, apologize. This person's not afraid to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. All right. So I do feel like they, they are on a, a good path. They're, they're becoming a better person. I do see that here. And then here's change your focus, the five of cups. They might get hung up on stuff from the past a lot. Um, I feel like they, yeah, with the moon here, I feel this person does walk around with a lot of regret. And I feel like this is what maybe makes them like, that's what fuels their defensiveness. It makes them a little bit edgy um, and defensive. So they're, they could be like very sensitive about especially stuff from their past. So I feel like they might take some like jokes or comments like harder than the average person would. And then here's the nine of cups dreams coming true. This person, 
I feel like they are putting so much into trying to make some kind of dream of theirs come true. They, they feel like that will really change them as a person if they can um, achieve this dream. So maybe they have some kind of dream that they're always talking to you about. I feel like a few of you guys are watching for a sibling. I know most are watching for a love interest, but I feel like there's some of you guys are watching for a sibling. Okay, so let's see. What do what does this person want most in life? Because I feel like this person might irritate you sometimes, but it's like you can't help but love them. So some of you guys might also be watching for a longtime best friend as well. All right, we have the King of Swords. So their biggest desire is to like mature into someone who is very much looked up to, very wise. Um, they they want to be someone who is less emotional as well. So and some of them maybe they have a dream of becoming like a lawyer or like a politician, just someone that everyone looks up to. Um, you know, they I feel like they want to be the one who gives uh, good advice to people. Um, yeah, they they want to be stronger, like more emotionally strong. All right, one more card on what do they want most in life? Perhaps some of them had a difficult relationship with their father or a father figure, and um, they want that relationship repaired, or it's like they're kind of looking for something to fill that, that emptiness. That could be why they, they were like on this lifelong search or quest for finding this thing that will fulfill them, because I feel like they might have had like a pretty big gap in their psyche from childhood and here's detach um justice wow interesting because this is like libra the king of swords is libra so yeah they they want to be i feel like they want to be a calmer cooler person yeah they just want to like be cool they want to be seen as cool as well they might have like certain um like characters in movies that they really look up to they're like i want to be like that you know so they have like fantasies of being like these people certain people in movies and they just want to be um like calmer so they don't get so caught up in like drama or conflict they want to like learn how to hold their tongue better and they want to be like very good with their words okay but yeah for for some of you guys i do see this person wants to go into like the field of law okay so let's see so what are their feelings for you um number three what are this person's feelings about you feelings for you I'm just getting like this person, they think they whine too much sometimes. Okay, here's the Eight of Cups. Um, and then we have Temperance. And then here's the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants you in their life no matter what. They're like, I want this to be a long-term thing. I don't want to lose you. I like being around you. You make me feel good. Here's the Ghost and abundance all right with sweetness as well so let's see what's going on here what is the ghost all about maybe this person they feel i feel like they feel when you're not around them i feel like they feel very like empty or lost or like unsure of their direction because i feel like you bring so much to this person's life I do see that they're undecided about something here with you. Um, and I feel like they are they are always willing to work out things with you. As we saw, they like to um they don't they, they like to keep the peace in their relationships, even if there's like a lot of arguments, they, they always want to rebuild, they want they want forgiveness. So it looks like this person could be at a distance from you or they are maybe trying to not get too emotionally involved right now. So these cards are actually confusing me, so it just feels like they could be confusing you a lot as well. I feel like they're confused themselves. It makes sense because we do have the moon and Pisces here. So both of those could be very, um, like, like a lot of stuff hidden from you, um, energies. So, but the temperance angel here, to me, this is indicating it's like, they, they feel this bond with you that they don't want it to be broken. So let's clarify the ghost card. Here is the sun, the sun with abundance. Um, I'm getting like these are ghosts from their past that are haunting them. So if you guys aren't in contact with this person, I feel like 
your energy is like haunting them. It doesn't go away. Um, thoughts of you come up a lot, but it looks like they are happy thoughts with the sun here. So I feel like this person, they don't, I feel, they feel like they don't get enough of you. Like, I feel like they want more. They want more and more and more with you. Or they feel like there's something very unresolved between you two. Okay, so maybe their intentions will make this a bit clearer here. What are their intentions with you, number three? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and then we have the High Priestess with the Devil. Get an Oracle card. It's almost like this person is, they f they feel bad about themselves, so they're trying to, or they see themselves as bad or something, and I feel like they're trying to stay away from you. Um, also, like, they're trying to preserve your honor or something. Here's pleasures, lust, decadent, hedonistic, blissful. This, is, this can kind of go along with the devil here. And then we have road ends, ending, completion, time for a new path. So it does look like this person... Um, could be ending something with you or has ended something with you is like trying to go um, on a new path however they still feel very baby very tempted by you very much like I haven't let go of this I still want to be around you um, the queen of pentacles in abundance here um, yeah I feel like this person also they they need to like make their own money I feel like they haven't made enough money that could be something that they lack confidence in as well so, yeah, I feel like maybe you guys were, like, financially supporting them or something. And I feel like they, they started to feel really wrong about this or they do feel wrong about it. So they're like, this just has to end. You know, I can't just be living a life of just, like, pleasure all the time. I need to go put in some work. So I, I do see that this person's trying to um, take steps maybe to getting, out like, a, a job or a better job, better career. They're trying to better themselves, you guys. Um, which is a good thing because I, I do see that there was maybe some unhealthy patterns in this relationship between you guys for sure. Okay, so. And I feel like this person is still just like searching for that elusive something. Um, They're on that quest right now. So let's get a little bit of love advice for you guys. Number three. We have friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So maybe you guys are just friends right now. Um, and it could be like, it's just time to be focusing on that. Don't try for a lot more with this person right now. It just doesn't look like they, maybe they're not ready for it. Because I was getting a more like youthful energy for them from them. No matter what their age, I, I feel like the maturity has not clicked in yet to be like a really stable um, relationship partner. I feel like they have hopes for that. They have visions of that. But I feel like they might dream of it more than actually do it. Okay. And then we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so the flirt card here, I, I, I feel like it goes along with this friendship card. Like, just have fun with this person if you guys are in contact with them, um, if you, you know, still see them. Um, so just have focus on having fun for now. B build the trust slowly. You can't just, like, I would be careful and don't, like, just, like, immediately trust someone. Um, so, yeah, I do see that this could go somewhere for you guys if there's if there wasn't some kind of, like you know, deal breaker or just totally cutting off. Like if they totally ghosted you, obviously it's like, okay, it's probably time to go ahead and move on. Um, but let's see. But if there, there still is this like bond between you two, I, I feel like it could lead somewhere, but build the trust slowly. Um, and it could really build into something really nice. Okay. And I also see here um, with extend your lighthearted energy to others. This could also mean, you know, keep your options open because if this person's like not ready for something, be sure that you also are um, maybe trying some other options if that's something you would like. Okay, you have two cards for advice coming out here. Here's Shadow, Spark, the Dark. With the miracle, we are the miracle of one. Wow, that's so interesting that we have one and then the one here. 
Mm, yeah, I think I feel like you you were like a miracle in this person's life. Um, I feel like they weren't ready for you or something because it's like it's almost like you are you are you were the one that they've been looking for the thing that they've been looking for and i feel like it it's like they weren't ready for it there was still like resistance there there was still like a lot of scrambling and um action that they need to take toward their future they're still on this road of maybe repairing themselves repairing things or building things um but i feel like you have you have lit up this person's life in a way that's like miraculous okay um, I feel like you, you came in at just the right time. And that's what I just feel like, just be sure that this person is giving back to you as well. Because I was feeling like there could be like an imbalance here. And I feel like things need to like build slowly over time. Okay. And then we have, you've won the lottery. Wow. Um, make room for wonderment. So we have miracles. We have wonderment here. Okay. Something really good is going on in your life. Number three. So... I feel like don't worry too much about what's going on here. Make room for all the other good stuff that really wants to come into your life. Um, and it could be, you know, even with this connection, it could be that there's something that will align for you guys. So make room for it. Prepare for something really wonderful to come into your life. Um, expect it. Because um, when you live in that state of just feeling like, yes, my life is a miracle, like living in that state of, yes, I just won the lottery, um, some really cool stuff can start shifting in your reality. And um, let yourself be surprised by all the really cool things that want to come into your life. Um, starting a gratitude list can help so much with that as well. Keeping your mind focused on all the good in your life. Okay, so let's look at what is their hidden truth, number three. So we'll get some hidden truth cards and then we will go into the extended. So number three's person, what is their hidden truth in this connection? Or in general, you came closer than anyone. Yeah, I feel like that, that could be like this miracle here as well. That you made this person open up more in a way than they ever had before. And I couldn't let you get close to me. Interesting. So yeah, with this uh, five of wands, I feel like this person um, maybe was at war with... Oh, I don't know if um, if I can let someone in just now. But I really, 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 really like number three. Your number three is like a miracle and a blessing. You and I were too young. Amazing because um, too young was what I was really getting through this reading here or um, not experienced enough, like not grounded enough or something like that, not realistic enough. Um, so I feel like w number three, maybe you were a little more ready for this. So, um, so this could either be something where you guys like knew each other when you were a lot younger and it didn't quite get off the ground. Um, or this could mean also just right now you're a little more stable and they aren't quite at your level just yet for like creating a life with someone. But I feel like there is something interesting between you two, something like worth exploring. 